There wasn't really a time in life where I didn't know of Jesus, but there's a difference between knowing of Jesus and knowing him personally. That began to happen when I was about 12, 13 years old. I went to a summer camp that was in many ways, by many accounts, miserable. And the level of joy that I saw amongst the people there in the midst of that <laughs> misery was so compelling to me that I thought, I have to know more. There's more to this than, than what I have been experiencing. I saw the behaviors of people at church and I thought, they have something that I don't have. I want what they have, so I'm going to mimic their behaviors and see if I can get to that place too. After, I think, not even a year, I was burnt out and desperate and thinking, how on earth can I live this way that a Christian is supposed to live? I can't do it. And on the other side of the words, I can't do it, I need your help is where I felt so much of that heart change happen. The grace of Jesus became real. My life has changed based on knowing Jesus in more ways than I can ever count. It's funny, one of the traits, even in the internship that people know me for, is this characteristic of being the mom or the big sister. What people don't realize is that's not something that I naturally had. One of the very first things that happened when I committed to a level of faith in a deeper way was my relationship with my siblings changed. They were a privilege to be with. They were a privilege to live with and pour into. They became some of my favorite people to teach about my favorite person. Throughout knowing Jesus, I have changed in so many ways. I have learned, I've learned how to admit my weaknesses and not pretend that I have it together all the time because I absolutely do not. But that in that space, if this is where my capability ends, that's where you can say, this is what God did. A new spirit of joy, a spirit of courage where there was fear and anxiety. The wound of feeling discluded has been so healed by Jesus in so many ways where I belong to so many different circles now. And even if I didn't, I always belong to him growing from someone shy and timid into someone bubbly and expressive, growing from somebody um, passive into, into a leader. Jesus has done so much work.